Just a snippet of the excitement out there in downtown Birmingham as your Stallions were celebrating their back-to-back -back USFL championship. Guys, it's not an easy thing to do. We don't see that often. We might not see it again, but the team's looking for a three-peat. But it didn't rain on our parade as the city was in full celebration mode despite the downpours happening. Let's take a look at some of that video out there. Skip Holtz holding up the trophy yet again for the fans who were brave enough to stand out there while it was raining down confetti and, of course, rain. It did clear up a little bit as the fans got to talk to the coaches and players, but we also got to talk with them too, wondering if there's more in the tank for these guys next season. Take a listen. It shows the love of the, the Birmingham sports, the Stallions, when it's pouring down rain and you still have this many people come out and support and it's, that's, that's why I play so hard. Do you really want to do this again and come back for year three? You know, you know I turned down four opportunities last year and I, I have had as much fun coaching in the last two years as I have in my 40 year career. I've enjoyed the city of Birmingham, I've enjoyed professional ball, I've enjoyed these players. Uh, the whole experience has been, it's been awesome for me and I've loved it. It's great to be here. I'm excited about it. Looking forward to year three. Year three? Are we doing it again? We'll see. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Hey, one out of those two ain't bad. Hopefully we'll see both of them here next year, though. While many fans may still have been back in Canton following last night's championship, quite a few showed up today for that championship parade. All of them deciding that celebrating this team was worth whatever Alabama summer weather was set to throw at them. It says a lot when your USFL team is back-to-back -back champions. So, hey, NFL! Y'all need to look at Birmingham. They played incredible, and we just wanted to come out and, and uh, support. I and mean, what's not to lock up about the Stallions? I mean, they got a great offense, solid defense. I mean, you, you can see the result right here. We brought the trophy back home to Birmingham for a second year in a row. The team like this in a while, right? except our college team. Except our college team. But we, it's, it's been a long time since we have like an Alabama team go back to back in the championship. Is this the best team ever? Yes. Better than that team over in Tuscaloosa? You better say, say that proud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I set him up a little bit, but having fun out there with all those fans today. A moment for these Birmingham fans, of course, and a moment for the Holtz family. And if you know anything about that family, they are rooted in football. And last night, Skip Holtz got to share yet another championship moment with the man who got him started in the game. And that would be Hall of Fame coach Lou Holtz, who was in Canton to share what was an emotional moment with his son. It meant the world to me, the pictures we have on the field after the game. Uh, your dad won't be here forever. You know what I mean? We're not going not to be here forever. And there were memories created last night that will last us both a lifetime. I was fortunate and blessed to grow up 18 years in that house uh, and then to coach with them for 10 years after that uh, when I coached with them at Notre Dame and South Carolina. And so to have him uh, be able to get up here from Orlando at his age uh, just means the world to me. And so it was very emotional for me. It was very meaningful to me. It was meaningful, you know, obviously because you compete and you want to win, but there was a personal side to yesterday uh, that made it very emotional for me. A moment they won't forget and we won't forget it either. That's beautiful. I love it. We'll yeah. be right back, folks.